Yes, guys, how are you doing? Andy Carter here, PGA Teach Professional at the Pete Cowan Golf Academy here at Jumeirah Golf Estates in Dubai. And today I am reviewing the Tour Striker Smart Ball. And to be honest, I'm reviewing it because I absolutely love it. Myself and a couple of the teaching pros down here at the Golf Academy, we use it on a daily basis. So if you're a golfer that has what we kind of say is the, the infamous, the chicken wing, so that would be the lead arm as you come through impacts working upwards. If you're one of those golfers that has that, or if you're a golfer that kind of rotates the club face at quite an, an extreme rate, like myself, where that kind of, the lead arm kind of rolls under and the, the, the back arm, the right arm for the rounded golfer rolls over and the club face rolls closed. If you're one of those types of golfer, this is a great drill for you. It's also a fantastic training aid for golfers that just want to kind of learn their pitching and just want to get used to the connectivity and the shoulders, keeping the hands more in front of the chest as they're swinging and rotating. As you kind of come start to come through maybe from a 40, 30, 40, 50 yard shot, if you can keep the, the hands more in front of the chest, utilize the rotation from the shoulders and the hips, get everything working together, get the club face working as well with the swing, you can really feel some real connectivity in how you can deliver that club back to the ball. Very often we see golfers from 30, 40 yards where they don't really rotate because they feel like the ball's going to go too far. And that's a very common theme with golfers, worrying that the golf ball is actually going to go too far. So they start to kind of use the hands and not really utilize the body. All right, so the setup for how this works is, first of all, you're going to try and get the, to the, the length that you need it. And the length that you need is once it's around your back, the ball is gonna sit right into the middle of your forearms like so, okay? Once you're in that position, we're gonna take the club. Now, if you're a golfer that comes through and you chicken wing, then you're gonna see that the golf club, even if you try and keep it together, the golf club is gonna stay very, very open. So if you're a golfer that chicken wings, you're gonna to struggle to kind of really get into a finished position. Chances are, chicken wingers the golf ball the ball's also going to fall out if you're a golfer that wants to kind of rotate quite a lot you're also going to find that it's very very uncomfortable the right shoulder is going to come up quite high you're going to try to release the club but it's very 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 difficult with this being in there so what we're trying to look for is that connectivity again i'm going to keep coming back to that word connectivity because it's so important for this shot we're going to get this, the hand staying in front of the chest as we start to rotate back through and just getting a really good kind of feel and rhythm of the motion allowing the club to work in front of the chest back and forth if we then want to go into a full swing we get to the top of the back swing what's really good is that the forearms stay connect stay together as we go up to the top so maybe a golfer that goes up to the top and gets a little bit more kind of disconnected with the right elbow this again is another method in the full swing in particular to kind of help get that compact feeling at the top of the back swing the rot you're getting that early rotation of the shoulders and the chest get into a great position and as you start to get to the top of the back swing what it's making you do as well it's making you hinge with just the wrists a lot of golfers will kind of start to bend the elbows and lift up and they actually limit the rotation when a golfer comes back to a neutral takeaway here, we want that the shaft of the club to keep working around the body, and we want it to do so through the rotate, through the hinging of the wrists. We do, a golfer that kind of comes from here and then picks up will generally leave the ball behind. So it's a fantastic, fantastic training aid for those golfers that struggle with quite a number of things in the golf swing. You only need to have pinpoint one of them to kind of help you, but. I use this to kind of practice with and just I often tell my kind of students to come into the office to grab it if I'm not using it to just go and just do some pitching with because it's fantastic. You can really feel that connectivity from the takeaway through um, all the way through and you can even get that same sort of feel when you're trying to hit that full swing, keeping it in, keeping it in your arms, rotate oh, and just get all the way through like that and then just get all the way through like that. I've ripped it. It's definitely a training aid that I recommend, but obviously like all training aids, like all swing faults and trying to improve your game, it's important to actually know what you're trying to improve. Now, coming back to a technical issue that I kind of just mentioned earlier on in terms of, in terms of the chicken wing, 
that won't just be fixed by obviously grabbing a tow striker ball and help and kind of stopping the chicken chicken wing a lot of the times faults are caused by other faults so generally this chicken wing position is happening because something that's preceded it and that's something that we ob we'd obviously need to try and isolate pinpoint and work on but i think it's a great drill for it's a great kind of training aid for practicing your chipping practicing your pitching if this if you kind of isolate the issue be more in the top of the backswing and the disconnectivity of the arms and not feeling very compact or the hands are not working or when you try to use your hands your elbow bends and it, obviously that could come down to flexibility if you kind of know what the issue is then i think the ball can definitely help or even if you don't know what the issue is by learning to swing with the ball it can also help you kind of again pimp iron out a couple of issues that you probably didn't even know you had but can definitely make an, an impact on how you can improve your golf so i would definitely go and give it a go in terms of use it's very very easy you blow it up and you pop it around your neck and you get it to the right length for your forearms in terms of price there are dollars they're around about 40 dollars or so maybe plus shipping i'm not sure but in and around 40 dollars and generally they do come quite quick so we've actually got three of these in the golf academy like I said, three, four golf pros in the academy, and we use this. We do use this quite a lot because I think it delivers great feel for the player, and it delivers a great result in and quick results as well because it makes the practice honest. There's a lot of golfers that will try to practice in a way they think, oh, that's great, and with all the best intentions in the world, that's absolutely fine. However, if you're not practicing well, then you're not going to improve this will almost make you practice pretty well. So go and give it a go. If you, if you have got access to one, definitely try it. If it's, find out as well if it's gonna be suitable for you. If you've got other issues in the swing that you, and you don't necessarily need it, then it's not gonna work. So it's not one of those things that I'll just go and buy it for the sake of it. Buy it because it's gonna help you. And then when you do get it, you can't use it too much. Overuse it. Even if a golfer that kind of flips through is really, really going to help you control that club face better by controlling the forearms. It's going to help you feel that the hands are staying more in front of the chest as well as you're starting to swing. It can only do good things for you. So I highly recommend this. And that's not that's that's quite rare for me to kind of say, but we recommend it on the back basis that we use it. So if you come down for a lesson with me here in Dubai, be prepared, you're probably gonna get the smart ball thrown in your arms. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. Lots of content to come, lots of tips to come. If you've got any questions on the Tour Striker smart ball, please drop them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit the like. And from me, from a very, very warm Dubai, see you again.